Here's Kovali Barolo 2015. This is the uh, follow-up to the 14 that we've been offering, which was a really solid, but easy to enjoy Barolo. At a great price. 15, much hardier, more robust vintage. And again, sourcing is from uh, several places within the Appalachian. Uh, La Mora, El Forte, Cerro Lunga, and some others. Um, but the idea is they're sourcing good quality grapes from vines that vary in age from about 10 years to about 40 years of age. So a good sort of spectrum. You know, and, and what it does, it gives you kind of a, an overview of the vintage and what happened in all the different microclimates. And, you know, 15 was such a solid year. They ferment this all in stainless steel and then they let it age for six months in the same steel tanks before moving it to the large Slavonian oak casks. So um, they're really focusing on retaining the fruit character in this wine, um, not adding any new oak, uh, anything that's going to hide or take away from that beautiful nebbiolo fruit, right? Which actually I'm getting really nice whiffs of. I get a nice, yeah, you get that strawberry, that, that rose petal, it's kind of a roasted, uh, toasted walnut maybe. That's nice. Definitely some cherry notes in here as well. A little hint of minerality. That's a great nose. Let's try it. I love the, the balance in this wine as it flows on your palate. You just start to get a little bit of the uh, puckeriness from the tannins, but then the beautiful bright acidity starts making your mouth water <clears throat> and really bringing up those fruit notes. I mean, it just it kind of explodes. Really pretty on the palate. Obviously, Good backbone of tannins on this is nice concentration. So, yeah, I mean, it's very tasty now. Give it some air, enjoy it in the near term, but put some bottles in the cellar. Let it age a few years. You're really gonna see some beautiful, beautiful development on this. <laughs> and really can't beat the value. Happy drinking.